Hey everybody, Brian Boyle here and welcome to episode 173 of The Mesh Tongue. It's been a little while and uh, for good reason, I am working on a Indiegogo now. Uh, for those of you that saw a previous episode and previous video, it was a, uh, an issue with another platform. Uh, they won't allow me to put the content on that I want to. Uh, they say you can't try and treat something or teach people something. I, I don't know. But anyway, uh, so be on the lookout for that information. We're going to be doing an Indiegogo, uh, uh, basically fundraising, uh, if you will, to to get this information out there. And uh, that's not the reason for this video, but that's the reason why I've been away for a while. So just to, just let you know that there is some good stuff coming forward. Uh, there's always good stuff coming forward, but there is better, even better stuff that uh, that's coming forward here. So be on the lookout for that. So for those that don't know me, my name is Brian Boyle. I'm a physical therapist with 19 years of experience and even longer experience uh, being a runner. I've been a runner since I was 14. So this is a passion of mine, helping thousands of you figure out how to stay running. I think the worst advice you could possibly get is quit running. Uh, those that have been given that basically prescription of, uh, of stop running, you know how frustrating that can be, especially if you're like, but it only hurts if I'm going so far. Why would I need to stop running? Uh, you know, so my job is to basically keep you running, show you the best techniques, um, exercises, ways to treat yourself at home, whatever it may be. And, uh, and if not, if I can't do that, then get you in touch with the proper resources. Uh, you know, throughout the world, I've got resources uh, you know, in, in my network that may be able to help you, even if you live in some remote parts of the world. So without further ado, uh, in episode 173, I'm going to talk to you about Lace Bite. And this actually came from a question that I got from a, uh, uh, from a client that, uh, I don't want to call her a client, but uh, somebody just like you that's watched these videos that, uh, that has said, hey, you know what, what's the best way to, uh, to keep those laces uh, from digging into the foot? Uh, in hockey, they call this skate bite. Uh, in running, we'll call this lace bite. And it's B-I-T-E. Because basically, it feels like something is biting the top of the foot. Okay, so we think about the shoes, all right, you know, and, and uh, we've got the shoes and they're nice and tight because uh, you don't want your foot sliding around. Even with the best lacing methods, okay, you know, going through the loop up top here, um, that's another episode. If you, if you haven't figured that one out, uh, you know, be sure to look out a proper way to, to, uh, to lace your shoes. But uh, we can get this lace uh, that's just too tight and, and cause this bite. And uh, uh, probably about the only way that I know to take care of that, all right, is to literally grab yourself a piece of felt pad or kind of foam pad. And what you do is you, you literally stick that down in underneath the tongue of the shoe. Hey, the mesh tongue, how about that? But uh, um, you literally will put the felt pad underneath and between your foot. Now I like putting this, uh, you know, I like putting this underneath the sock. All right, and the reason being is that the sock will, will tend to hold this a little bit better. Um, if it doesn't work that way, if it just if it, the sock isn't holding this, or you've got like a low ankle profile sock, um, this works really well with compression socks. But if for whatever reason that it's just not working underneath the sock, um, then what you may need to do is get some pre wrap, okay? And uh, just on your bare foot, you would literally just take the pre wrap, wrap your foot. Okay, wrap that underneath. All right, pretty pretty self-explanatory. If, if you're not catching it, uh, sometimes it's just too tough to bring the the camera down, you know, and, and show the foot. But um, yeah, what the heck? Maybe uh, uh, maybe you get it. So the uh, um, what you're gonna do is just wrap around the foot a couple times. You, you don't need much with the pre-wrap. Okay, um, you know, and then placing the foam or the felt pad underneath that okay so that that's on the foot okay my trusty platform here okay and my fun pants all right so all you're gonna do is just wrap the foot with some pre-wrap and make sure that you know you just not too tight Couple times around, okay. That should be enough to hold that in, okay. Hold that in place. Then what you're going to do is you're just going to basically put your sock on, all right. Um, you know, 
put your shoe on and see what happens. Again, you can cut this pad down. So figure out what works for you. you know, somebody may need a very thick pad, somebody may need a very thin pad. Uh, it depends on how much room you have in the shoe to begin with, right? So, um, you know, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. That is the, uh, that is lace bite, or s kind of that sneaker bite. Uh, this is primarily, again, if you're getting pain right underneath the laces of the shoe, on the top of the foot, and you're wondering how do you fix that piece of cake, it's just a, it's just a foam pad or a felt pad, put it underneath there, and you should be good to go. You don't need to necessarily change the way that you're lacing the shoes. I see this quite often times in racing flats, track spikes especially, uh, just because of the way they fit that, um, you know, the, unfortunately I've had to do that many, many times. So hopefully you find some value in this. If you have, please share this with your friends, your family, your training partners. Also, don't forget to be on the lookout. Uh, as I said, we've got this Indiegogo campaign that will be coming out in the next week or so here that, uh, that we're actively trying to work on. Uh, getting excited about it, so I'm going to be asking for your support and uh, you know the support of your friends and family as well. Uh, and that brings up the, uh, the next piece that I always say, hey, don't go hurting yourself to come back. But if you found value in this, then please share this with your friends, your family, and your training partners. And uh, until next time, we'll see you again. This is episode 173 of the Mesh Tongue. And... Uh, Till then.